Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another interesting topic. Okay, so what we are going to talk about in this tutorial is an alternative tool for docker which is called podman. Okay, so uh, we have seen a lot of uh, uh, tutorials on docker, right? We know how to set up docker, how to use uh, you know docker for creating containers. Uh, we also use docker for kubernetes, right? So uh, if you want to know like is is there an alternative tool which I can use for docker? Yes, definitely there are a lot So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about podman. Okay, so let's see what is podman and we will see how to set up podman how to create containers and what are the basic commands those things in this tutorial? Okay, so to start with about podman. So podman uh, as I said, it's an excellent alternative to create docker uh, to docker containers. Okay, so uh, Podman uh, to talk what it is. So it's also an open source tool. Okay, and it's the difference is it's a daemonless uh, tool. Okay, and it's also a Linux native tool uh, designed to develop, manage, and run open container initiative. Okay, so it's uh, we can run containers and pods. So you can use Podman also for Kubernetes, and it's also an open source. Uh, and the changes like it's a daemonless. Okay. So that's what it says. It does not need an active container engine like a Docker, like we have a Docker engine. So it does not need it uh, for Podman. Okay. And uh, one of the greatest advantage, advantages of Podman is it's uh, you know, uh, easily compatible with uh, like uh, Docker. So what uh, it does means like you know you can use almost the same commands in Docker. So like if you know like what commands you use for creating containers, uh, you know. Um, also to uh, create uh, a full image all those things you know you use docker commands right docker run or docker images docker the only change would be like you change docker with portman so I, I will show you all those things in the practical session and there is also tip like you know you can uh, make a uh, portman you know uh, completely is, uh, uh, rather than using portman you can even use uh, just docker itself but uh, it will work as a format so i'll tell you how to set the alias as well okay so in this uh, video what we are going to do is we are going to install a portman on centos okay and we'll also see the basic uh, portman commands like pulling images creating containers uh, and all those things i mean for about portman right and uh, we'll also see how to set up docker alias to portman what does it mean like you know uh, once you uh, set this one there is no change at all for a uh, person who has worked on docker like it will be a, like a normal uh, process for you like you're creating docker containers using docker run hyphen uh, the commands but actually on the back end in the podman is was what is working what we have done is we have changed the podman alias to docker so you're running like a docker command but actually uh, things are happening on podman okay so we'll see that as well before i get into that if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel I, I would request you to subscribe like this video share and comment I will link uh, this uh, Podman uh, documentation in the video description so you can have a look on this uh, documentation on Podman so you can uh, go through it so it will give you the complete details on uh, some of the commands uh, about Podman okay and we'll be using an uh, image called uh, Vernight uh, Funbox uh, which is an interesting image where we can uh, create some containers with that okay so let's uh, get started uh, on the actual practical session so I'm in, in a CentOS machine and I don't, I don't have any Docker installed, so there is no Docker in it. Okay, so now the first step is to install uh, Podman. So the install uh, Podman, it's a pretty simple command. You just run uh, yum install Podman. I'm using a Y to suppress the uh, no prompts, so you can use sudo if you are, uh, you know, um, uh, not in the root permission. Okay, so let's run this and uh, let's wait for the portman installation to be completed okay this may take uh, some time uh, depending upon uh, how much time it need to download the packages and all those things so let's wait for uh, this to complete it uh, so i'll pause the video and i'll come back to you once this is done okay so the installation is completed so let's clear out the screen okay now, in order to check the Podman installation, you can just run Podman hyphen V. Now we can see the Podman version 1.6.4 is installed, right? 
and uh, if you want to see more info you can use uh, portman iphone iphone info sorry let me check that yes there is a small uh, correction on the command it's just uh, portman info okay so there is no hyphen hyphen required so now if you see it gives you the complete information on the portman you know uh, uh, the details if you require something you can just go through with this okay so let's clear out the screen now if you see uh, the commands are almost similar like i uh, you know i can use uh, portman hyphen hyphen help to get more information on uh, what other commands you can use now you see that uh, you can help portman with the commands right you can use build commit container cp create so you know, all this run so all those commands are here so if you want you can have a look on that now for example uh, if i run portman ps it says you know nothing is there it's like docker ps command right and if you have docker ps hyphen a it's similar like portman ps hyphen a so now what do you see is like you know we don't have any containers or anything and if i run portman images you can see there are no images as well right so now let's try to pull an image so i'm going to use uh, portman pull and i'm going to use the image uh, from the previous uh, another one which i've shown so i'm going to use uh, this fun box image for this uh, section okay so let me run this okay so let's wait for uh, the image to be downloaded so if you see like uh, portman also is compatible with the uh, docker hub images so it's downloaded from there so this may take uh, some time, so I'll uh, pause the video and I'll come back once the download is completed. Okay, so again, you can see the image is uh, downloaded. So if I go to Portman Images, uh, you can see the image is downloaded and it's listed now, right? It's almost uh, one uh, more than one GB of size. It has taken some time to download. Now, how do we create a uh, container? Usually, we will run Docker run, right? So, in a similar way, what we need to do is Portman run. And uh, to run it in uh, I3G mode, it should be IT, right? And I'm going to use RM so that, you know, it uh, uh, delete the container once we exit. And the container name is uh, this one, Funbox, right? So, let me run that. So, let's see. So what we got is uh, this output when we run in the i3d mode so we are inside the container and it's giving uh, us some options uh, to select right you can use uh, one two three right it has shown let me use the two which says uh, ascii aquarium so let me run the menu two and you can see the output is like you know this one right where uh, it's like aquarium where the fishes are going so it's a nice uh, uh, project right nights container right so you can also do this straight away you can add uh, whatever you want uh, directly here so let me add uh, the other one maybe this one okay, over here along with the container so let me run it directly now you can see it's like a matrix uh, things right so let me exit out from this so the commands are almost same right you're running podman run where it usually should be container run right uh, sorry, it's a Docker container run or Docker run, right? So, uh, so it's, it's the same. You're going to use all the same uh, commands as part of Docker. So let me clear out the screen. So if you want to remove the images or anything, it's almost similar like you use the uh, Docker images arm, right? So here you use uh, Podman uh, image arm and the image ID, right? So I, I don't want to delete that at this point. Let me show you something you know interesting. So still till this point we were using Portman Run, right? What I'm going to use, I'm going to set an alias as uh, you know uh, Docker to Portman. So what I'm going to say is Docker equal Portman. Okay. So once I set this uh, command, the point here now is if I run Portman PS, right? It does not show anything. So the same command now if I run docker ps, uh, it also does the same thing because now the portman is changed as set alias uh, to docker. So docker also take as uh, no same as uh, portman, even though you know you don't have any docker installed on this machine. So you see uh, if I uh, use docker hyphen v, it's actually giving me the output for portman because it's uh, the command is portman hyphen v. So that's the benefit of this uh, easy, you know, alias setting. So now, if you want to run uh, the image, 
uh, container we have used supportman run right so let's change this to docker run you can see it's exactly does the same right even though it's not a docker it's a portman the easy uh, compatibility thing is like you can just set an alias you can continue uh, doing as uh, you're uh, assuming that this is a docker and you can run those command uh, but you know actually on the back end you're running actually portman now if you want to remove you know the image you can use docker image uh, rm and the image uh, name uh, which would be this one You can see the image is deleted. Uh, now, if you see Docker images, you don't have any images listed, right? So it's it's pretty simple, uh, you know, with Podman. You can easily set up the Podman with a single command, right? And your uh, all the commands are uh, similar to what is Podman. I'm sorry, it's uh, almost <laughs> the commands are similar to Docker. Okay, uh, sorry for confusing you know Podman and Docker. So if somebody wants to use uh, as an alternative to Docker, definitely you can have a try with Podman. I will also uh, show some tutorial on other tools. I, there are other tools like Mesor and other tools which we can use as uh, an uh, alternative for Docker. So uh, I will have a video on those as well. So that is all I just wanted to show in this uh, tutorial. I will link all the uh, tutorial uh, you know, uh, details in the video description so you can have a look in there uh, any reference link or any commands which you want to just have a look in the video description so i hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching again i will request you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet so and uh, like this video share and comment